Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Savance. We want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and where we give you guys a fresh perspective on things uh, and how we see them. And today we have a pretty, pretty interesting show for you guys. But before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. And as you guys know, Victor Wimbenyama has taken the NBA by absolute storm. It's absolutely incredible, right? Like, he's the hottest ticket going right now. And some people love it, some people hate it. I personally love it. We're getting a breath of fresh air. They're talking about something, somebody new, and I think it's a great thing, right? The game is expanding. The game is becoming more global. Although some people have an issue with that. Some people believe the NBA should only be an American game where only Americans players play. They don't want any kind of globalization. I just want to keep it all to myself. Nepotism is me. Pass it on to my son. Nah, 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 nah. The NBA is like, nah. Let the best man win. If he's going to come from France, if he's going to come from Australia, if he's going to come from the moon, let him win. Let the free market decide. Some people are against that. But anyway. Victor Wembanyama has been basically tearing up the NBA. Uh, in six games this season, he's averaging 20 points per game in 30 minutes. And 48.9% shooting from the field. 31% shooting from the three, which is quite impressive for a 7 for 5 guy. 7.4% from the free throw line, getting you 8.2 rebounds. Uh, 8.2 two assists per game. 3.8 turnovers. That's a bit high. With 1.3 steals per game and 2.7 blocks. Good Lord. Now... No one is really surprised by the blocks because this guy is as tall as, uh, as, as uh, I don't even know what you want to call it. Like, he's a super tall guy. So what happened? This morning, I was doing some research, and I came across an article from FadeAwayWorld.net with the headline that said, Former Lakers star says Victor Wembanyama could win 10 NBA championships. And I was like, whoa, 10 NBA championships? Is that, is that, is that what this guy just said? That means the San Antonio Spurs are going to be selling a lot of tickets for those championship years. And speaking of tickets, uh, this video is brought to you by our brand new sponsor, SeatGeek. SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app with over 28 million downloads. There are more than 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeeks, including concerts, sports, festivals, and more. And with the NFL and NBA season in full swing, SeatGeek has your tickets to every game. Now, here's the best part and the reason I absolutely love SeatGeek. They put all the tickets across the web in one place to make sure you are getting a good deal. Each ticket is rated on a scale of one to 10, so look for the green dots. Green means good, red means bad. Every ticket is backed by the buyer's guarantee and SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event. And we have great news for you because we got you guys a really, really good deal. Use code DREAMERSPRO for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code DREAMERSPRO. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. And remember, when you try SeatGeek by using the link in the description below, just know that you're helping this channel. So let me get into what this article had to say. It says, Metal World Peace makes a wild claim about the Spurs rookie star. Victor Wimbayama hasn't played 10 games in his NBA career, but he's already shown enough to convince some that he's a legend in the making. After watching Victor drop 38 points on Thursday, former Lakers champion, uh, Meta Stan <laughs> uh, Sandiford Artes, formerly known as Metal World Peace, raved about the young star and claimed he has the potential to retire as a 10-time champion. Wem is winning 10 uh, titles potentially. He might win MVP this year. Definitely first team all defense and first team all NBA. Potentially the first player to be the most improved as a rookie. Meta failed to elaborate on how the rookie could win the most improved player, but it's possible that the entire post was sarcasm uh, meant to make fun of all the hype around uh, the, all of the wild predictions people are ma uh, uh, people are making. So the article then goes on to say a few other things. But then there's another article um, from FadeawayWorld.net with the headline, Victor Wembanyama could have higher ceiling than LeBron James, according to NBA analysts. It continues on. Uh, speaking on Undisputed this week, NBA analyst Rachel Nichols de delivered the highest remark uh, yet for Spurs rookie Victor Wembanyama, in the aftermath of his 38.10 rebound performance against the Suns on Friday, she tagged him as someone with a higher upside than LeBron James himself. This guy has been a pro for years already. He played and won championships already, and you can see it. Victor Wembanyama's ceiling is higher than David Robinson, Shaq, and LeBron's. He can render the LeBron um, MJ argument basically pointless or whatever it is. So that's what. Uh, Rachel Nichols had to say there. Here are my thoughts on all of this. First of all, I don't know about 10 championships. To win ch 10 championships in today's NBA with the amount of player movement and all of that stuff, you would need to be able to keep together a core unit for a very, very long time. 
the Spurs are going to need to have to figure out something through the draft. And if they're going to be a very good team, it's going to be pretty hard for them to get very, very good players, um, high, you know, high in the draft because the good teams seldom get get good get good get, get good players. In the case of Victor Wembanyama, he's truly unique. He's truly unique. If you look at his skill set, the fact that he can handle the ball that well, shoot the three, block shots like that, he can affect the game in so many ways, which is, to be quite honest with you, what you would expect from someone uh, with those type of physical attributes. Uh, winning 10 championships is going to be very, very hard. It's going to be very, very hard because you're going to need a lot of things to go your way. To win 10, you're going to need a lot. Uh, 10, I think, is a stretch. I don't see any player being able to win 10 championships in a row. Uh probably ever if i'm wrong then so be it but it's going to be very very hard you would need to have such a dominance over the nba your team would need to be so much better than all the other teams and most importantly you're talking about not having injuries because injuries are going to play a major role in this entire thing so you're basically saying that these guys for a 10-year stretch are going to be able to be healthy and to be able to play these games at a high level and ultimately win all of those championships uh that's a lot to ask for and i find it very hard to believe that that's going to be possible. Do I think Victor Wembanyama is going to win championships? Yes. I think that if he wins four or five championships, then he's going to mess up a lot of people's top tens. Um, about comparing him to LeBron, they're two different players. There's some people that come in really developed as rookies and young players, and then there's some they're not. Kobe Bryant didn't come in as developed as these other guys, but he's a top five player. The other players that came in really developed, and they're not in the top five yet. So, to me, I don't really want to get into all of that. I just think it's time. We just need to let him play out his career. But thus far, he's been pretty, pretty impressive. And I do think he's going to make the all-star team this year and probably some other NBA teams. So these are my thoughts. So what I want to know from you guys is simply this. Number one, do you think Victor Wimbenyama is capable of winning 10 championships like Ron Artest said? That's number one. And number two, if he's not able to win 10 championships... How many championships do you see this guy possibly winning? And what do you think his ceiling is? Do you think he can be a top 10 player? Do you think he, be, he can end up being a top five player? And do you think that he can end up even being better than Michael Jordan himself? Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section. Again, if you want today's full show before it comes out, it's streaming for free on Apple Podcasts and on Spotify, the Dreamers Pro show. You, you guys should definitely check that out. Once again, thank you guys for your attention. And we catch you guys on the next show. Peace.